Hello everyone and welcome back to Fishing North Atlantic. If you missed last episode, go back and check it out. You're going to want to watch it. We did some harpooning of swordfish. Today, however, we're going to try to work out some different stuff here. So right now, our current rigging is set up for harpooning. We want to switch to deep lining. And that's going to cost us 15k. I don't... No, I don't need to know that, how that works. Okay. I've already done that before. I'll give you guys the rough... The rough setup on how it works. So, buy deep lines. We're going to buy four of these to start off. We don't want to spend all of our money quite yet. And, of course, uh, I believe there's swordfish and herring. So, I think I'm going to do... I mean, swordfish and tuna right now. Yes, August 6th. So, we're going to buy two herring and two squid deep lines now we can get up to three of each on these or mix between them because they will bite uh, swordfish will bite squid and herring and tuna will bite squid and herring too but there's just a higher chance of one or the other depending on which bait you choose so with that being said we're also going to need a crew member for hire and this is where you kind of want to so this guy right here even though he's got really high levels um, he, he really uh, is gonna be expensive he has a 2.3 percent rate which means whatever we get for money that we make he gets 2.3 percent of it so we want to try to stick to somebody like this roughly who is kind of new at everything I think I could kind of pick a little bit to get a little better deep line. See, this guy got a little better deep line. This guy's even got a little bit better. But as you go up, these guys take more of the percentage. So we're trying to find that happy medium. And actually, that guy's okay. But I think I'm going to go with this Rudy Smith. He's got some decent levels already. Um... He's already got some deep line skill. He really doesn't need much, and he's only taken 1.0%. So, and he's pretty cheap as far as the cost to hire. It's 17.9. How does he rate to this guy? I mean, this guy's a little bit better in crane operating, but not as good on deep line, and that's what we're working on right now. All these guys will be able to train and be able to make their levels a little bit better. Uh, okay, he's on the boat already. So. Yeah, there's that. We'll go to the bar. We'll see if there's any tips here from a week ago. I mean, we'll get it and see if it's... It's probably near where we already are. I think we're all set to head out. Oh, you know what? Let's, uh, before we do that, we can do some upgrades on our ship. Engine... Oh yeah, we can get the top engine here. That didn't take too much of our money. We can get the top radar. Uh, fishing sonar. Ooh, that's gonna be pricey, but I think it's worth it. And yeah, we don't really need buoys. We don't really need any of the rest of this. Storage we could use, but right now, I think we're good with what we have. All right, so. Let's head out of the port here. We got sonar here. We got 134 meters underneath of us. You can also see our sonar out here. So we're gonna kind of move along here. It looks like we're coming into some tuna. 
The sonar hasn't really caught up with us yet. I'm hoping it's going to. Uh, crewmate, we're gonna put him back there to prepare. And we're gonna prepare some squid because this is kind of the area where we're at right now. now it looks like there's one here. I'd really like to kind of move along here and see what we come across because that's only one. We are moving in the direction. But the squid population, if I remember right, the habitat is really low and it's low for tuna too. Wow. This kind of really did start us off with some uh, with some crap habitats, huh? I don't think we're going to do much damage with a small boat because we can only take in 6,600 pounds at a time. But... Alright, so we're coming into some swordfish right here. I'm going to go ahead and drop one right now. We're going to go a decent clip. You can set one every 100 meters, but I find that it works a little better if you kind of stretch that distance out a little bit more. Especially where we're not seeing a lot on the screen right now. We're having one come from the right towards the left. Hoping that there's going to be a couple more spotted with him. So far, I'm only seeing that one. I'm really hoping to see more here. But with the population being low, it's not too promising. When was this taken? From a day ago? And we're not getting anything. Maybe we need to come back up here. Let's get up closer towards this marker. We'll see if we have any more activity. Because this is where we were harpooning them. So I would assume maybe there's more. Okay, so this is actually looking a little bit better now. We have three moving from the right. Once they get to about midway on the sonar there, we have four now. Five! Okay, so this is good. This is a good sign. Okay, they're about middle of the screen here. Just drop one out. We'll give it some good time. See if we see another little bunch like that pop up on the screen. There definitely is some more coming. I don't know why he's not preparing. He should be doing it automatically. So once those four right there get onto the screen, right in the middle, we're gonna drop another one. We're spacing these out a little bit different than we could. We could place one every 100 meters. But. So there's another one going out. We have one more to set here. See, he did prepare that one. Okay. So it looks like we got uh, ooh, another four more coming across the screen right here. So we're going to try to place those, place another one. Hopefully these aren't bugged and I'm not wasting my time. All right, let's place our last one. All right, we're gonna kind of fast travel down to this one. All right, and now you're getting the first dose kind of on how we fish here. You can do a lot of skipping time. We're gonna, so this guy doesn't get tired, we're gonna stick him back there. Is it a guy or a girl? Rudy Smith, I think it's, uh, it's a guy. All right. So, now that they're off, yeah, they're, they went to bed, we're going to turn off the boat, 
and we're going to skip time. Uh, it's usually about 20 hours. We're going to skip 18. Looks like we did get a bite here. And we're going to stick Rudy Smith back on our haul now. Now I gotta see the buoy. Yep, there it is, right up there. I love this view too. I don't like how that thing's right in my view, but... The harpooning bow there. This will hopefully... Uh, it's definitely easier. I mean, you see the difference in time between this episode and last. Between setting the stuff, and hopefully this will bring us in, like... It could bring us in three per line, I think, is max. I'm hopeful, because if you look at the sonar right now, there's still five fish showing on there. So let's see. All deep line. Only one? We did get a perfect on it, though. Let's haul that bad boy in. Look at that swordfish. So we only got one out of that. Okay. Well, let's circle up here. We're going to stay a little bit away from them. I'm hoping this other one's going to pop, too, before we get around to it. But we'll haul these other two first, and maybe that one will turn blue before... Blue is optimal for these, and hopefully that will turn those blue as well. Okay. Where are those buoys? They should be... Oh, there it is. Yeah, so hopefully the, the other one will turn blue as well. They have been bugs, so I'm actually surprised we're getting anything. Because on my playthrough where I'm just kind of cutting my teeth learning the game, they are bugged. Let's haul that. Oh, we do. We got two on this one. Nope, I got an okay on that. Looked like we were doing better than that. I'll take it. We got two. Oh, oh, he's getting squirrely. Missed. I got another okay. Looks like I was doing better than that on that one, too. Alright. So that gave us decent amount. So far, that last flag hasn't turned blue, but... This is working better than it is on my other load, so... Okay, there's only one on this line, too another okay. I feel like I was lining that up better, but... Alright. Oh! Deep line bite. We did finally get a bite back here. Alright. Well, let's circle around. We'll get lined up on that. And then we'll take that one in, too. Only one. I missed him. Perfect, there we go. So it's not a complete bust. We got about a half a boat full. Of course, we used our lines. Like I said, the habitat's not perfect right now either, so... Let's see. We got two ports unlocked. Let's see which one's the best for swordfish. 8.30 at Yarmouth, 9.02 at Dennis Point. So we're going to Dennis Point again. Okay, sell fish on board. See, we only gave him 150. That's where you want to kind of work your crew member that way. 14, we paid for some of the stuff that we had done. Let's check our gas. 90, uh, we'll top it off, I guess. We'll repair it, make sure everything's top notch. Fish market, we're going to go, this time we're going to bait all, all herring. Four herring deep lines. Can we get more? I think he can, right? Another four. Ugh. I don't really want to spend that kind of money right now. But it would help fill up our boat. Let's buy them. 6k. So we got eight herring deep lines. Alright, so we do have some here. Let's put our guy here, have him prepare. And we're going to kind of 
kind of motor along here and we'll see what we come across. There's only two here, so I'm really going to hold off. If another one pops on the screen by the time those get halfway, then... Oh, another two did. Okay, let's drop one here then. Another three. There's five fish showing on the screen right now. Six fish showing on the screen at one time. When that sixth one gets over to the left, we'll drop another one as long as there's some that's popping up behind him. It looks like there's a haddock behind him right now. There's another two more. Oh yeah, so that'll put three on the screen when that one gets all the way over to the left. And that is it. Let's put our guy back here. We will use our fast travel and we will loop back up around here. He's back in. Let's go 18 hours. Uh, let's go for the whole 20. All right, first pot flagged. Alright, while we're moving, let's get him back in our deep hall. It looks like uh, five out of them flagged. That could be bad news. Looks like there's two on this line. Um, why is it like way over there? There's a perfect. There's our tuna. There's another perfect. We got two off of that one, not too shabby. Just fast travel over there. We'll go around the two and then we'll come and pick those up last. All right, we got two here. There's a good one. Oh, missed him. There's another good. I was hoping for perfect, but... Oh, deep line. Looks like we only got one here. Ooh, he's squirrely. There we go. There's a perfect. There's a perfect. I got him on the way up. Oh, 
Only one again. Oh, missed him that time. Ah, I just got an okay. I jumped the gun a little bit. There's our tuna. Ah, I just got an okay. I was really hoping for a perfect there. Alright, so we got three quarters of a full boat right now. Alright, let's fast travel back up here. And we're going to loop around and pick up these two deep lines. Yeah, it's been one day. If they haven't turned blue yet, they're not going to. Which I think is still somewhat a bug. Alright, it says low population. I tend to agree with that. But hey, two deep lines out of the eight that we laid down didn't get anything. Granted, I only got one fish on some of them. I think two, I got two fish, so. All right, let's look here. Fish prices, tuna, $13.97 at Yarmouth, $12.85 there. So let's go to Yarmouth, sell these. That's Dennis, we can fast travel right there. Probably should have put our crew member to rest, but that's okay because we're going to wrap this video up after we make this sale anyway. So here we are. We have arrived. Sell the fish on board. 44000 We only paid 450 ish to our crewmate. We can sell that. So we're not really making a lot of money right now. Um, I, we're going to need to get a, a different boat here fairly soon especially with how low the population is yeah our options are pretty thin even if we could go for something like pollock where they have a medium habitat right now obviously cod are going to be the best thing to try to go for where they have high habitats and the majority of them so yeah we're uh, hopefully we didn't make the wrong call on playing hard mode but I really, you know, kind of wanted that challenge. So that's going to do it for this episode here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, this episode of Deep Lining. I'm not sure what to do next, kind of where to go from here. Um, obviously we still got to keep catching stuff to make money. And we're kind of at a point where we don't need to buy anything else for the boat. We just need to start making some good money. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like deep lining's the way to go, but I also feel like it's going to be tough to make a lot of money that way. So, especially while the game's kind of broken. So, we'll have to figure something out on how to start making some decent money. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, leave a like down below, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all the newest content. And leave a comment down below if you're enjoying the series. I know I'm enjoying playing it. I'm a little bit skeptical on what the future holds with it as far as our habitats are concerned. Maybe we just need to skip a couple of weeks and see if things start to mellow out a little bit. But I don't want to lose my opportunity for fishing. So... We're going to have to see what happens. Thank you guys so much for joining me. We'll see you guys next here, next time uh, blah, 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 right here on APN Gaming.